Okay, I am coming in with excitement. Come on in. Tell me Cherry's here. If you're here, I'm rushing through the, to the intro, uh, through the intro because I can't wait to dive into these babies with y'all. I just showed you guys some swatches from the previous video. I intended to do the whole face together, but I know my mouth been running. I'm excited. I'm talking to them much in my videos, probably too damn long, so I cut it in two. Y'all get to come here and see the eyes happening. If you want to see what was used on the face, you guys, new products, former products, like all of them blended together, and we got this beautiful base down and on a budget. And then do check that video out. It should be out before this one. Without further ado, let's go. My peoples that are coming back to see me, if you're new here, subscribe. Let's get to this eye look, okay. I am using on the face, on the eyes, these two babies right here. I was just getting to the eye part on the other video and I just noticed how these palettes swatched and how buttery they are and the colors and all that stuff. I felt like this deserves a whole video themselves and that's why we're here. So I don't have much on the lid. I do want to put a teensy bit more primer. I don't think the the products need it but we're gonna go in with my let me just go in with a concealer and um and we'll get to business okay i really just want to give these two palettes the attention they need before they get lost in the shadow of the whole face look. Look how slimless that blended out. That brush, you guys, from Zoeva, it's so pretty. It is my favorite. Let me pull you guys closer. Let's get onto the eyes. We have my fluffy brush here from Morphe. There's no numbers. It was a, you know, one of those packages. I'm gonna go into this baby right here as my all over lid shade. I need to hold a mirror. All right, all over the lid we have, are there names to these? There's no name. Oh well. This is coming out darker. So I'm gonna put this one next to it on the inner part of the lid. Yo, that little baby right here. It's like a pinkish cream. Oh. And yes, you guys, I'm getting that feeling. My tummy is just feeling so good right now. I'm feeling so good right now with these shades. I think I need to get the other ones. I'm playing with both shades, these two right here. This is on the outer and this is on the inner. And um, we're going to make this eye stand out. It is, it don't look like much, but I don't know what it is. It is sitting so nicely onto the lid. I want a warmer shade. So I'm going to go into the other palette to deepen the crease. I'm gonna use a much smaller brush and this one so the two palettes I'm using is champagne problem which is these and then the other one is whiskey business which is all matte I believe there's like two or three other ones I didn't care for but 
with the performance of these i definitely need to check them out i'm gonna use this shade here which is a rustic brick brownish orangey shade i'm gonna put that right here yes <laughs> Milani always get me this excited. It's so unfortunate they don't come out with tons of palettes, bigger palettes, you know? But it's so pretty. I'm leaving my eyes open because I want that shade to be at a point where it shows. And when I blink, and you get to see the full result. All right, let me use the other brush. And I'm going to go into this shade right here to soften things. I'm just excited. I feel like the other palette, the other shades are getting lost within this one because these shades are much warmer and they're more, much deeper. But y'all get to see each of them as I apply them on the lid. So whether you are to you were to use this one, the whiskey business versus that one, you get to see how it's performed and the the way it applies on the lid is so creamy. I want to go much more with that orange shade on the lid, but we have tons of other shades to use. So I'm going to go into this deepest one here. There's also a deep one on, let me use this one instead. And um, to deepen the crease right here on the tight corner here. Yo, that's much better. It is not a black, it's a brown. And I have not had any fallout. We're just focusing it like right here on the little edge of my outer V. I'm gonna put the mat down. I want to dive into this one. Which one do I use? The gold versus the... There's these two. I'm going to use both. I'm going to use both. I'm going to put this one on the outer part or even on the mid part of the lid. And then I'm gonna use the gold on the inner part. We need brushes. Let's miss the brush. I didn't have a problem with it falling when I applied it with my finger, but the brush, the bristles and everything is making things go wonky. So let's get everything in place by misting the brush. And I'm going into the gold. So I could get to the tight part of the inner arm. With the other side, I'm going into that rose gold. It's not even rose gold. I don't even think so, but... As everything is melting into the when you're applying it with your finger it, the product melts as you're doing so on with you know your finger on your fingertips so it's always best to apply it with your finger 
are wet. I'm gonna go to that deep shade just brushing off to soften the edge but I want to go with the deeper shade and deepen the outer part more yo The excitement I'm using this one here on the lower lash line tiny brush here it is so sad how we get to move to the next even after we have this type of feeling about a particular product we have to move on to the next to keep up to find new things or to use new things to get views and stuff because we can be stuck on that one product you know showing it off all the time but these two palettes if I was able to I think I can like stuck them all together and like those magnetic ones put them all together if Milani don't want to create a big palette I would just create my own big palette these shades are superb these eyeshadows are stunning and affordable all right I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with the rest of the face Ooh. And I'll be back with the end result. Here we have it. Enjoy. Indulge. Okay. These I look. This, these little tiny palette. Or at another level, y'all. They are gorgeous. There's there's still some in that brush. I'm just spreading it all over the thing they're gorgeous they're pigmented they're rich they're just affordable like these babies right here i'm gonna try the other one there's one with the green in it and all that i really need to see what's that about milani please come out with a bigger palette I don't care if all of the existing shades are within that big palette. I do not care. I want and would like to have a bigger palette. Y'all comment below whether, it, you know, if y'all with me or not. Because these Milani palettes, they never, ever go wrong. Um, these gilded palettes, I love the gilded line, the whole nine yard. I do recall me using this one, the gilded Tetra which we use way in the past. Never disappoint this baby here. Um, love them. Love them all, okay? Do grab these. They're at Walmart. They're at, where else do I see them? Ulta? No, Ulta don't carry Milani. Do they? Yes, they do. They are at Ulta. I did see them at Ulta. Um, check them out. Grab them if you can love them while you at it because they're just gorgeous they're worth the price okay i believe eight dollars they were for no more than ten dollars they're no more than ten dollars you get six beautiful shit a full matte palette uh this one full matte and this one gives you some two shimmery gorgeous shades okay so thank you hope you enjoyed the eye look as much as i enjoyed doing it and getting excited getting in my tummy feeling feeling good about it thank you guys for watching see you guys on the next one hey and do check out the full face okay enjoy watching